Hello, everybody. Uh, this is a quick lesson on the center of mass in dynamics. I will talk about center of mass later when we do momentum and collisions. But for now, let's see how we can do, talk about the center of mass in dynamics. So there is a formula that I'm going to show you how to find the velocity of the center of mass. <coughs> so let's say I want to find, the first question is find the velocity of the center of mass at the moment shown. Now, the center of mass here in this case is closer to the eight kilogram than it is to the six kilogram, just because the eight kilogram is heavier than the six kilogram. So the, the velocity of the center of mass is kind of like, uh, if you combine these two objects into one, what would be the velocity of that one point in space, okay? So it's kind of like a weighted average of the two velocities. That's pretty much what it is. So to find the weighted average of the two velocities, we take the velocity of the, three, uh, the eight kilogram multiplied by the velocity of the eight kilogram, not speed, and you do the same thing for this one. So let's assume that down is positive, okay? So in that case, it's gonna be the mass of this one times its velocity, which is negative three and a half, plus the mass of two times its velocity divided by the sum of the masses. And that should give us about negative 1.14 meters per second, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. This one here has a bigger mass and a bigger velocity, so I think the center of mass has to be moving up, okay? The next question, too, is to find the net force, the net force on the center of mass. So to do that, you do the net force on each object. So if you think about it here, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. This is a frictionless surface. So the net force is basically just gonna be the parallel components for each mg of these two masses. So it's gonna be mg sine of this angle here, let's make that 30 degrees, plus the mg sine 30 for this guy here. So if you do the math here, you get an F net equal to 70 newtons. Another way you can look at it, and I'll write that in blue, is think of the two of them as one. Really, that's how you have to think about it. Or we can do F net is the two masses times G times sine of 30, which will get you uh, the same number, 70 newtons, okay? The next question I wanna address, uh, let's see, I think you can see it here. So the next question I wanna address, so I'll say three, is find the velocity of the center of mass after 0 0.2 seconds, after 0 0.2 seconds from this moment here, okay? So we can do that two ways. We can do F net, equals ma, okay? And we can find the acceleration. So if we do 70 here, equals the mass, which is 14 times a, which basically a is equal to five meters per second square. And I gave you a shortcut on this a couple of weeks ago. I say if the surface is frictionless, it's just 10 sine of the angle. Okay, and then we can do vf equals vo plus at. Now, this is the, the, the final velocity of the center of mass, this is the F. Now, the initial velocity at this moment here, the center of mass has a velocity of negative 1.14 plus five times 0.2, which will give us uh, negative 0 0.14 meters per second. So that's the velocity of the center of mass. The other approach is to find the velocity of each object Okay, so let's say we do the velocity of one after 0.2 seconds. So initially it was going at negative 3.5 meters per second, right? And there is an acceleration on it of five for 0.2 seconds. So this is gonna be negative two and a half. So what I'm trying to do here, this is just an or, this is a, a different way. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find the velocities of this eight kilogram and six kilogram after 0 0.2 seconds from this moment and use this formula here that I talked about earlier, okay? If we do V2, 
that's going to be initially it's going at two meters per second, and there's an acceleration of phi for two point two seconds. So that should give us three meters per second. Now I'm going to do the velocity of the center of mass using this kind of like weighted average. Okay, so that's going to be the mass of this one, Juan, times its velocity plus the mass of two times its velocity divided by the sum of the masses. Well, I think this should be, uh, what is that, negative 20, yeah, plus 80, so that's negative two over 14. And negative two over 14 is negative 0 0.14. So just the same answer as before. So I just wanted to address the center of mass, uh, just in case you come across a problem that talks about the center of mass. All right. See you later. If you have any questions, let me know.